the grace life. Before I get onto anything, I want to say this to you. Thank you so much. Dawn and I are so overjoyed by, by the beautiful faithfulness that we have seen in, in you, the church. Uh, we've just seen such a profound rising. You know, Paul says in the book of Philippians, uh, chapter 4, he says his, his, his heart, his prayer would be that, that the church, the Philippian church, would be of one heart, one mind, and one purpose. And every pastor prays that for the congregation. And, and we have seen some powerful uh, rising up to the occasion. And, and we just want to say we are so, so overjoyed to see one heart, one mind, and one purpose in every single person that we have seen. Honestly, it's, just, it's been beautiful. Thank you for your, for, your, for your giving, your financial giving into what, what we're doing, for your partnership in every way, for your comments, for your WhatsApps, your emails, uh, uh, just your response to what we're doing has been so profound and so encouraging. I mean, it's not that we live for encouragement from people, but we have just been overly encouraged by everybody that's responded to Dawn and I and to us as a leadership team. Thank you. Thank you so much. Honestly, it is from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you and well done. Well done. The pertinent question, where to from here? What do we do now, Grace Life Church? Do we go back to our venue this Sunday or do we not? So I'm glad you asked that question. So I'm going to give you our answer. We've spoken as a, as a leadership team. Uh, at Grace Life, Dawn and I have spoken at length. I've spoken to other guys outside of Grace Life who lead other churches over the last week, um, kind of throwing ideas around. And uh, and we, this is what we're going to do as a church. I'll give you first what we're going to do, and then I'll give you some points as to why we're doing it. This Sunday, this coming Sunday, we are not going to go back to our venue. We're going to continue to do live. At the end of June, at the end of this month, the end of June, we are going to relook at the entire situation again and again make a decision as to the way forward. Our prayer is at the end of this month, we will to go back to our venue with more than 50 people. Um, with the regulations, uh, a lot of the protocols lifted. That's our heart. That's our prayer. That's our desire. But we're going to give it a, a, a wait and see approach, kind of adopt the wait and see approach and see what happens. End of the end of the month, end of June. So essentially the 5th of July, we will again, or just before that, we'll let you know what's going on before that Sunday, where we're going to go. We'll be online on the 5th of July or we'll be back at our venue. We will let you know before the 5th of July where we're going to be. Amen. So before you switch off the phone and go, oh, Craig, I wanted to go back to Grace after Sunday. Let me explain to you some of our reasoning. A couple of points. Number one, of course, the 50 and below uh, um, is, is, is tricky for Grace Life. You know, we've got 140, 150 adults on a Sunday, uh, um, 50, 60 kids sometimes. So, so we, you know, we're looking at around about 200 people. Hence, we've dropped down, dropped the, the gone to two services so that we have, uh, we're able to facilitate the bigger numbers. Uh, to go to 50 at a time is going to be tricky uh, uh, to say the least for us and um, you know is it insurmountable no it's not we could probably do it but it's going to be tricky and and so that's on the one hand on the other hand everybody wearing masks you 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 know you got to keep at least one and a half meters between you if the guy's on stage leading worship he's got to have he can have no mask on but two and a half meter gap between him and the next person as from what I know there's no singing as a congregation uh, you know to socialize have tea and coffee afterwards you know with your mask on lifting it up drinking it how will that all work it's going to be sterile I think it's a good word for it it's going to be sterile you know uh, yes Craig but isn't it better than than watching a, a TV screen well I don't know at the end of the day we, we God's call us together we understand from Hebrews says do not forsake the gathering we're not forsaking the gathering. We want to gather. Amen. And we are gathering online as best we can, like hundreds of thousands of churches across the planet. And I think it's been great. We've done a great job. We are, um, as a whole, as a church, uh, awesome, uh, great meetings on a Sunday. The, 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 the prayer meetings have been going really well. We love the commenting, the people getting engaged, uh, praying with us. Of course, the life groups, the Zoom life groups, are uh, uh, Delva 12 on, uh, during the week, Dawn and I, the, the discipleship time I'm doing on a Monday, our prayer meetings. So that's working. 
And, uh, um, you know, do we really want to go back to something that's very, very constrictive right now? Mm, I, I, as a leadership, we don't think so. That's point number one. Point number two, you know, the, the regulations themselves are being challenged. We see now two nights ago, uh, the High Court came out and said that there is going to be, uh, that it's actually unconstitutional, invalid, illogical, irrational, some of the, some of the words that the judge used regarding the regulations. And so they've, the government, the government have got two weeks to respond to that. Chancellor they will appeal. But the problem is right now, sub judice, there's something is going to happen um, with regards to this. There's essentially a rising up of, of, of society that are saying, actually, we, we're not happy with what's going on. And so as a church, I think we need to just kind of adopt the wait and see approach with regards to that before we begin to make decisions, big decisions like that. Amen. Like going back to our venues. And now, anyway, so, you know, point number three is, is, the infection rate. So we don't quite know what's going to happen in winter. We know that flu it gets exacerbated in a colder climate. Uh, uh, so, so well, just with with colder colder temperatures. So, you know, we're going into winter. You know, by the end of June, we deep into winter here in South Africa, and so we'll have a way better understanding of of what's happening with the virus. So schools are going back. Uh, um, uh, there's more people coming out into the regulations being slightly lifted in level three. So, you know, let's wait and see what happens with regards to uh, uh, the virus itself in this country. And I think giving one more month is going to be very helpful for us to actually have a way better snapshot of what's going down and what's happening. You know, number th number four is we want to be sensitive to what's happening around us regarding uh, the economy. Uh, you know, churches, yeah, we can meet again. Yeah, we, we're going to go all meet on a Sunday. Um, there's a lot of local business, small businesses that are really hurting. They can't open. They, they'll remain shut uh, by, by, by government. Uh, they're not opening. You know, it's not that we want to stand in solidarity with them, but we're just saying, hey, let's, oh, we want to be sensitive to what's going on around us. And, uh, um, you know, again, let's let's adopt a wait and see approach. Even by the end of this week, there might be some change. So we, we're going to... We we're gonna see, amen. Uh, um, uh, so that's and and yeah. Ultimately, we're gonna we're gonna adopt that approach. Let's wait and see. Let's 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 not uh, um, let's not jump into anything right now. There's no rush. Things are working really well online. Uh, we 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 will see where this goes. And so by the end of June, we're gonna have a way better understanding, uh, um, a way better uh, a view. Of what's happening in our country regarding this lockdown and COVID-19. And I want to say again, thank you for your grace. Thank you for your patience. Uh, thank you for, for, for everything that you've given to us as a leadership, as a church. We just want to say thank you, Grace Life. The, the, the Sunday, the 5th of July, uh, we, will, we will give you a heads up a couple of days before that uh, as to regarding as to where we will be for that Sunday, online or at our venue. Our heart, our prayer is that we're at our venue. At least 100 people. Amen. For those that want to wear masks, they can, but generally that all that's lifted and we have a way better picture. That is our heart, our heart's cry. It's only one month. It's only one month. And five years from now, we're not going to go, well, we should have gone one month before. No one's really going to think about that. It's just one month. You know, we, we, we let's see how it plays out. We have quite a lot of older people in the life of the church. Of course, they won't be able to come. Uh, um, so we want to be sensitive all around, friends. And and we trust that, that, uh, that you will hold to this with us you will support us in this and continue to press into everything we're doing amen and lastly i want to say this is this and this is very very important we're not out to judge anybody's action regarding this any church pastors friends of ours that have decided otherwise that they want to meet they've got a smaller congregation or they've got a bigger congregation but they're going to divvy it up however they plan and they're going to go in, the, in their sunday meetings be free. Go for it. Do whatever you feel God is calling you to do, whatever you feel the Holy Spirit is speaking to you in your context. As I said in my letter last week, uh, the, the, well, that, that um, post I put, on, I put on Facebook, every one of us is unique. Do, uh, 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 DCC, here on the bluff. St. George's, here on the bluff. They have their own unique context with their own people. Every church is unique. And they need to make the decisions they feel they need to make that's based on their heart's decisions. Amen. And a coercion, coercion from nobody. So this is by no way a slight on or a slate on anyone who's doing something different. You be free and you go for it. This is grace life and the grace life context and the leadership. We fail to do this. Amen. So just to reiterate, we will not be going back to grace life as a church this Sunday. 
We will not be doing that this Sunday. We're going to give it one month and we are going to relook at our decision again four weeks from now. Way better uh, uh, idea of what's happening, way better snapshot. Amen. Otherwise, bless you. Guys, thank you so much for, 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 for being with us. Oh, and by the way, so, I'm, I'm gonna, so I didn't say this. What we did communicate is not this weekend, but next weekend, beaming or streaming from our venue. So we will go in there and begin to record the meetings from our venue, albeit with only three or four or five guys, uh, some of the sound guys and leadership guys in there, and we'll start beaming and streaming from our venue. Dawn and I will continue to do stuff from our home, the Delves at 12s and all that kind of stuff. Uh, perhaps the prayer meetings as well, we'll stream them, but we're going to start streaming from our venue. Amen. At least a one step closer uh, to, to going into our, our home base, as it were. Amen. So otherwise, bless you guys. We love you. We thank God for you. We're praying for you. And uh, we pray God's richest blessing. Father, bless your people. Pour out your spirit upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless you guys. We will see you soon.